Hi everyone, my name is Gianna Rodriguez and I'm a part of the Apple Academy. Today we're going to read a story together called Nicholas, Where Have You Been? by Leo Leonmi. Here we go. At the edge of the great meadow, four little field mice were nibbling berries. Look for the red ones, said Elodie. They're the sweetest and juiciest, said Henry. Because they're ripe, said William. But all they could find were pale pink berries that were neither sweet nor juicy. The ripe red ones had already been picked. The birds got here before you, said Uncle Raymond, who was watching them. That's not fair, said Nicholas. Why should they get the best berries? Down with the birds. Down with the birds, all the little mice shouted. So they're fighting over berries. Oh, wow, look at this picture. Let me show you guys that real quick. Then and there, Nicholas decided to look for a berry patch that the birds had not yet discovered. He would find the sweetest and juiciest berries in the whole world. Without telling anyone, he set out across the great meadow. He walked on and on, seeing nothing but the tall grass that surrounded him. So look at this tall grass. At last, Nicholas reached a clearing. He scanned the horizon, but there wasn't a berry in sight. Then suddenly, he heard the noise of flapping wings. He looked up. A big, ugly bird swooped down on him. Oh my goodness, look at how scary this bird looks. Before Nicholas could run back into the tall grass and hide, the bird grabbed him with his sharp claws and carried him up into the sky. Help! Help! Nicholas shrieked. He twisted and wiggled wildly, and the bird lost its grip. Nicholas plunged through the air. He landed in a nest where three little birds were dozing. They jumped up. Who are you? They asked. I am Nicholas, a field mouse, and he told them about his adventure. Stay with us, said the birds. You can tell us mouse stories and we will tell you all about birds. So he landed in a nest with these little baby birds. Look at how cute they are. Then their mother appeared with a worm. Mother, said one of the little birds, this is Nicholas, a field mouse. May he stay with us? Of course, said the mother bird, but what do little field mice eat? Berries, said Nicholas. Field mice like nuts and corn and berries. Ripe red berries. So Nicholas is staying with a group of what? What animal is this? If you said birds, you're correct. Good job. It's a little strange, but he is staying with these birds. The mother bird flew off and soon returned with a bright red berry. Nicholas couldn't believe his eyes, and it was the sweetest berry he had ever tasted. The days flew by. Nicholas ate berries to his heart's content. He and the little birds peeped and tweeted, my, excuse me, tweeted mouse songs, bird songs, and funny stories, and at night they cuddled up against the mother bird's soft down. So he's just one of the birds, one of the babies, even though he's a little mouse, but he's getting all the berries he wants to eat, right? But one morning, Nicholas woke up to discover that his friends had flown away. Oh no. They had left a big pile of berries in the nest, but Nicholas was too sad to eat. Oh. So what happened? His friends flew away. That means the birds took off. That's very sad. No fun. Nicholas knew that the time had come for him to leave the high nest. Fearfully, he climbed down the tree, from branch to branch, from twig to twig. So he's climbing down the tree. When he finally reached the ground, he found himself face to face with Elodie, Henry, and William. Nicholas, they shouted excitedly. Where have you been? We have been looking all over for you. Nicholas began to tell them what had happened. But when he had told them how the big, ugly bird swooped down and grabbed him with its claws, the others became furious. So the others, he found his family. And the others are furious when they hear about the bird that took Nicholas. What does furious mean? Hmm. I'll give you a minute to think about that. 
So, if you said furious means to be angry, you're correct. Furious means to be upset and very angry. All right, let's move on. And before Nicholas could add another word, they shouted, down with the birds, war on the birds, war on all the birds, they shouted on and on. So they're angry, as you can tell in the picture, and Nicholas is just lucky to be with his family, but his family is upset. So they're having a little war on the birds. Oh my goodness, violent picture there, sorry about that. Let me finish, Nicholas insisted desperately. Let me finish my story. When the mice had finally quieted down, Nicholas told them about the nests, the birds, the songs, and the stories. Little by little, the anger faded from their faces. So Nicholas tries to tell his family, but wait, that was only one bird that took me away, but there was other birds, remember the baby birds and the mom bird, that took him in, and they treated him like family. So, just because one person is mean or one bird was mean, that doesn't mean all birds are mean. So we have to, we have to treat others with kindness. And I think Nicholas does a good job of showing that by finishing his story and not letting his family take over with the birds because they all can get along. Suddenly they shouted, Nicholas, look behind you. Nicholas turned around. There were the birds. In their beaks, they carried the ripe red berries he knew so well. For you, they said. Just then, Uncle Raymond appeared from behind a tree. He smiled and slowly raised his cane. That shows you, he said. One bad bird doesn't make a flock. Then he joined the others. It was a feast. Everyone, including Uncle Raymond, agreed that the berries were the most delicious they had ever tasted. So look at that. The mice and the birds were friends. They're not the same, but they're friends because they're able to get along and they care for each other. And that's the end of our story. I really hope you guys enjoyed Nicholas, Where Have You Been? Bye.